Yo, so this is a quick guide on how to get the all-in-one launcher and through this launcher you can get any of the three BFME games including Rise of the Witch King. So I'll leave a link uh, to the BFME ladder in the description. So when you come here you just click download, we want this. Once that's done you just run the setup, install it. Once that's done um, it'll look like something like this. So here, uh, just a quick uh, walkthrough. This is BFME 1, this is BFME 2, and this is BFME 2, Rise of the Witch King. Um, if you wanted to get Rise of the Witch King, you first have to install this, BFME 2. Uh, here it'll say install instead of play. You just choose the path directory and uh, install it. And then you go to Rise of the Witch King, install that. Um, this is very important though, where if you want to play Rise of the Witch King, you go to the workshop, you get this add-on, the delay fix add-on. Basically, if you don't get this, uh, you just play with like two seconds delay, which is not good. But yeah, anyway, once you have grabbed that from the workshop, it should appear here in the library. Just make sure there's a check mark here. Also. When you install Rise of the Witch King, you install the vanilla one and then you apply uh, the current patch. This is like the latest patch that we play on. Uh, just hit update here and it'll update to the latest version. Uh, also, if you wanted to, you could change the launcher language from here. Use any language you'd like. Uh, you could even change the language of the game's resolution as well. Uh, anyway, now to start playing online, you click here on multiplayer. It'll take you, before taking you here, uh, it'll take you to a sign up uh, page, uh, which basically means you just have to sign up to the, to the ladder. So you just enter your email, password, and I think when choosing a password, uh, try to avoid choosing any special characters. Just go with letters and numbers, like capital letters, small letters and numbers. Anyway, once that's done, uh, it'll take you here. Uh, the free play basically is where you play with your friends. Okay. Um, so let's say you want to play with your friend, you make a room, whether you want to play against AI or whatever, uh, you choose the max players. Uh, this is kind of irrelevant, but make sure here you're on the right patch. It should pop up here, the first thing. Just choose that, you open, and uh, you wait for your friend to join, or you can invite, uh, invite him from here. Like you just type his name and buy it. When he joins though, you can click his name, add to friend, so that the next time you want to invite him, you just go here to friends, invite, for well, easy access. Uh, make sure this says, uh, it, it, like it doesn't say syncing recommended. Make sure it says synced. Uh, but I'm not syncing for other reasons. Uh, the social is where you accept friend requests, make friends, chat with them, whatever, see who's online. And this here to check who's online from the free play. The ladder here, uh, just to see the leaderboard. Doesn't work here in free play, obviously, because there's no ladder here. Free plays and choose the, the game, the patch, game mode, and just uh, download and watch re uh, like played games stats is where you check game stats mostly irrelevant settings is where you change your name um, and, and picture here some more options whatever you want to configure your keybinds and yeah this is pretty much free play now here is how you play a game if you're completely new. Basically just run the game once your friend joins. 
uh, you go to multiplayer network and you create a game and you choose whatever you want now let's take a look at the arena where you can play competitively uh, which is this the first time you go here it'll probably do a system test just to check if your PC slash laptop can handle the game Oh, uh, when you click this, uh, if you noticed, I click continue and then click, uh, like, made sure that uh, delay fix was selected. So yeah, make sure that's selected. Uh, yeah, this is the ladder. Uh, here you can play 1v1s. You can choose your faction, color, whatever, and then search. This is 2v2s, 3v3, 4v4. Now, you can make a party here. It's pretty cool. So you make a party, invite your friend. If you wanted to play 2v2, uh, just make sure this play against each other is turned off. So you can grab your buddy, queue up for 2v2, 3v3. Now you cannot play 1v1s in a party because it doesn't make sense. If you want to play 1v1 with your friend, just go do that in the pre play. And so, yeah, like the party system just doesn't work for 1v1s. And uh, yeah, that's that's uh, pretty much it. If you need any more help, anything else, just uh, write in the comments below. Thank you for watching.